Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sophie Society. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. And for today, I'm going to be doing my first ever wig. First off, first off, this is my first wig I've ever had. Second off, it's synthetic. This is a lace front. Overall, I'm gonna give my review a little bit of the hair. First off, like I said, this is synthetic hair um, with human-like fiber. So I do like the fact this, it said curl, but it actually looks like a crimp almost. And it's really cute um it does tangle and get kind of frizzy so i do have like some foam some wrap lotion that i put on it sometimes and try to lay this part flat um it did come with baby hairs as you guys saw um and i just kind of finessed them how i wanted them to be on my head and it's very long the hair is like 24 inches i'm pretty tall and this comes all the way to like my hip almost i have worn this wig out Mainly though, I wear it with a hat because I'm not very good with the whole lace thing yet. But yeah, this is the Sensational Butter Lace 3 wig that I got from my local beauty supply store. Um, online, it's like $45, but in store, it was I paid about 60 bucks for this. Um, and before it being my first wig ever, I did not want to spend like hundreds of dollars on like real hair or whatever. I just wanted to kind of test the waters or whatever. And um, yeah, I think it's okay. I'm actually going to be throwing this away soon because <laughs> I've had this wig for about almost a month. So it's doing okay, but like it is starting to kind of see tangle or mat up, whatever it's called, the tangle and frizz right there. You cannot run your fingers through this because you're going to disturb the curl pattern. Um, but as far as like the lace goes, it's okay, I guess. Um, and like I said, it's really long. It has a nice shine to it. Okay, guys, so this is the wig that I purchased. This is the Butter Lace. And I got this from my local beauty supply store. They do have it online, but it's been like kind of, you know, good reviews about it. If you are getting into the wig life and you don't want to, like, this is my first ever wig. So I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on something that, you know, I wasn't really sure about. And then it's COVID, so I'm not going to the hair salon, so I'm doing it myself. Therefore, I got the Butter Lace. Um, this is a HD lace hair. It's not human hair, but it's. You can put heat on it up to 400 degrees and it's supposed to be like pretty nice um so this is what i got this was 60 dollars at the beauty supply store but if you order it online it's like 40 dollars. so this is what i got and i got it in the color two and the brand is sensational like i said this is my very first wig and then i'm doing it myself so we'll see how this goes this is how the little card looks the lace is already pre-plugged. It has baby hairs. Okay, guys, so this is what the hair looks like. Fresh out the box. It's more like crimps, which I like. Trust me, I watched a billion YouTube videos to see what was the best non-human uh, wig to buy that, you know, looks nice. And all the videos I watched, they look bomb. So right now it looks a little thin and kind of skimp, but once I put it on and kind of run my fingers through it, hopefully it'll look better. And this is how the front looks here's my skin as you can see they already have like the baby hairs out or whatever and I know a lot of people put foundation under the lace I'm gonna see how it blends with my skin first and then I'll see because this is my first time doing this and like how far am I supposed to pull this down I don't know but if the, I have a big head okay but in the back feels nice and secure and then you it has the adjustable little thing so you can adjust it to how tight or loose you want it so that feel that's good I don't know what to say it's so weird I've never worn a wig before here's my the part in my hair and then I'm just lining it up okay I have the wig on I don't like this little piece sticking up so I do have my hot uh, hot comb I'm gonna try to flatten that out but for right now I have to figure out how the front goes once again first time doing this so I'm not a thou wow percent sure but let me get all the specs right for all my real wig wearers out there this is the box set an ear to ear lace HD lace front like I said it's not human hair you can put heat on it up to uh, 400 degrees the brand is 
Sensational Butter Lace 3 Wig. What do I do now? Cut the lace? Am I supposed to cut the lace on my head or take it off first? What is that? So I'm going to um, take this off again, put foundation under the lace. Alright guys, this is how the wig turned out. Mind you, this is my first wig ever, let alone a lace front. Um, far away, you can't see the lace. But up close, I mean, I can see it. It's right there. I don't understand how the people, am I supposed to pretend like I don't see it? This is how it looks. I don't know what to say, y'all. This is... Stop, Nipsey. How it looks. It feels a little insecure. Like, I feel like... My wig might get snatched off. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I think this is pretty cool. I like that the hair looks like it has crimps in it. Not curls, but crimps. So that's really cute. This hair is really long. It comes all the way here on me to my hip. So, and mind you, like I said, this is not human hair. Um, 
this being my first wig i definitely definitely did not want to spend a lot of money on some hair okay but i'm mainly doing this to protect my real hair so i can grow it out long and strong because i'm more of a real hair wearer but um yeah so my question is am i supposed to like go through this entire process every time i'm about to put this wig on if that's the case forget it anyways this is how this turned out i don't know what to say but you guys let me know in the comments what do you think as my first time ever what do y'all think how y'all think i did yeah so you guys let me know what you think to me it does look a bit wiggy i think that may be because i'm just not used to wearing wigs and i don't want like my wigs to look like a wig it's still like i'm pretty like i can take some pics and be cool you feel me but as far as like overall wear and tear it's not that great but it is great like as like a throw on wig something very affordable and budget friendly shedding there is no shedding like i haven't had it's a little bit of shedding but it's not anything major at all but that's because like you you want to try to not run your fingers through it or brush it out that's when like shedding comes in so the shedding is very minimal light and tangling yeah there is some tangling um but if you keep your hands out of it it'll look much better so this is how this hair looks as you can see so you can have a moment um but i honestly usually just wear it like in the back and put a hat on to be honest <laughs> but um yeah that is how the hair looks and i installed it on camera and all that good stuff so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and comment down below and i will see you guys in my next one